and uh, hey, 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 hello there, I'm Aldrin. No. Hey, Art of Iron 4, it's Man the Guns is out. That was awful. This is Ironclad 1.6, and I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos now for Man the Guns because there is so many things going on and so many different and unique changes. So we're going to be doing a lot of different countries. But first of all, I wanted to talk about something very, very silly. Very silly indeed. You see, there is a change in the game right now, and one of these changes is the London Naval Conference. The London Naval Conference, which is basically everyone weighing up tonnage of ships and making sure they don't, you know, have too many ships. Well, there's something a bit silly. So the London Naval Conference occurs during the first 120 days, and individual nations can withdraw from treaties and or cheat on them, exactly as Germany did. So how this works is that other nations that build up a large enough navy can, in fact, be invited into the London Naval Conference, and this means that they will be forced to maintain that kind of strength of the British nation and how many ships they have, and it works on a percentage basis. This means that if Sweden, were, for example, were to get up to 80% of Britain in the naval capacity with regards to capital ship strength, I don't actually know how that's calculated, but whatever, then they would be invited to join. And they might say yes, or they might say no, and end up being declared war on. But what happens? If every major in the game, who is a part of the London Naval Conference, doesn't have any ships. So, we're going to simply delete every single one of these ships. Oops, a daisy. And just destroy all the navies of every single major, which takes a really long time. But it is worth it. I promise. And then once that's done, which took a really long time actually, you go into observe mode and we just wait. So every single country in major does not have a fleet at all. I'm very curious to see what will happen because other countries should now start getting randomly invited. So let's find out. So it's only been a few months and looking at the UK, you can immediately see that they have a massive list of possible decisions to invite essentially every single country to has a navy into the naval treaty and also to warn them, including their own puppets like Australia. I don't quite understand. Oh, Republic and Spain, do they even have ships? But yeah, because there is basically no other ships, this is what's happening. They're freaking out and attempting to invite literally everyone. But it's going to wait until the London Naval Conference finally finishes, and then something terrible is going to happen. Okay, it's about to kick off. They sent a warning to Greece, and it looks like they have a puppet focus war goal. I imagine it looks like they're just going to be sending warnings continuously. I'm not sure if there is an easy way to actually see who is in the naval conference, but I'm not, I don't know if everyone's going to want to join, but Greece definitely doesn't. So let's see what happens. Okay, it's only gotten worse. They have now a focus to declare on Argentina as well, but they're just not taking it for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. I was kind of hoping they would just declare war and absolutely destroy everyone. Oh, hey now. They've got invasion plans. They don't have ships. They don't have ships. <laughs> the whole point. They don't have any ships. Ah, oh, it's going to take ages to build some ships. Okay, that's probably why, because they can't really invade Argentina and Greece if they have no ships. That's fair enough. All right, well, we'll give them time. We'll give them some time. So I just turned around to my girlfriend, and I was just remarking to her that nothing's going on. Literally nothing's happening. It's this is a video idea I'll wash because... I thought this would work and it's not. And then Italy declared war on Greece. So that's that's good. Let's take a look at the war. It is the Italian-Greek war, the Italian-Romanian war, the Pact of Rome. Okay, and now they have to, the UK has declared war on Mexico. Sorry, Mexico and the US. What have you done? Well, we're still in Chamberlain, we're still in the Allies, aren't we? Why have they done this if they didn't give a warning? Why is the US with them? Yeah, it is a puppet goal, so it is definitely for that. But why are they helping the U the Mexicos? Oh, is it because they're supporting their independence? Yes, it's because they're supporting independence. So now, so now the UK is fighting the US and Mexico because Mexico had a bigger navy. But the US should technically be on the side of the UK. But no, they're not. So, oh, there it is. Oh. And now there's Italy's Italy is also joined, interestingly. There's also now a British Philippines war. Oh god, the Pact of Rome is now joined. Oh, this is this is getting worse by the second. Oh, here comes Canada. Oh, there goes Canada. Oh baby. That's not good. 
Oh, this is, I'm really glad I was on the UK. This is the new exile division thing. Looks like Canada has been exiled from America. Well, that doesn't look good. And there's one division that made it back and has arrived in London to help fight on their side. <laughs> one single like 9,000 dudes from Canada. Okay, perhaps the weirdest development, Japan has joined the Pact of Rome. The Japanese Shogunate is now in an alliance with Rome and has declared war on Greece. Does that mean they are also... Oh, and they've called Qing China in. All right, does that mean they're also going to declare war on everybody else? I oh, don't no, Romania. US has joined the French Entente Alliance? Wait, aren't they at war? Wait, does that mean France is going to go to war? Yeah, France... <laughs> okay, UK is now fighting France because the French Entente have made a... What is going on? Oh, this looks awful. Please, no, stop, 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 please. We're at risk of another country assuming leadership. The US is almost capable of assuming leadership. The U.S. is going to take... So the U.S. joins a faction and then just takes it over. Mexico is now joining the faction. <laughs> what is going on in this game? The U.K. is so screwed. It's the war is all half of, like, Europe. Germany's not going to have to do anything. Okay, despite the fact that the U.K. had no ships, it would appear that they... <laughs> they've got something. They have literally just D-dayed on the exact... Wow, that's really weird. I actually wasn't really paying attention. I was looking elsewhere and then suddenly they did actually D-Day on the beaches of Normandy. If you're not very familiar, these are the beaches of Normandy that were invaded, like here. They went to Cherbourg and then Le Havre later on. Like they literally invaded in the his I'm not sure if they're scripted to only go for the beaches of Normandy, but they literally did the thing that they actually did in real life, except that instead of fighting the Nazis, they're fighting France, democratic France, led by Edouard Daladier. What is happening right now? So I, I did really expect that the UK would, you know, immediately win and take France because they did the whole D-Day thing and it feels like history should be on their side. But no, then they've also invaded Nantes and Lorient. L Lorient? Lorient. They've, they've invaded Shampoo Town and also in La Rochelle. So what is going on? But they've also been beaten, but the French have been beaten back in Italy. And the Czechs are being beaten back in Romania. Despite the fact that they have like no soldiers, they're still losing. Well, still, sorry, Romania's still winning because of their mountain terrain. But they're also still garrisoning soldiers on their own ports, even though no one has paratroopers. I have a feeling that I may have really messed up the AI of this game irreparably. All right, looks like France has managed to repel back their invaders quite easily, pushing further into Brittany, but they don't really have an army to speak of. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen in 1939 when Germany decides to do some things a little bit different and change the game. Okay, and now there's apparently been a Russian civil war. How did you manage this? How did this even happen? Okay, it would appear that uh, somehow Austria, whilst also conquering Czechoslovakia, they've not accepted Anschluss and thus are now fighting Germany. They don't have any soldiers, so they're going to die. Yeah, you're gonna die. See you later. Okay, that might have been a little bit of an underestimation because it looks like Austria is actually a part of a massive alliance chain with Italy, Hungary, Japan, and China. So now Germany is fighting the entire Italian bloc. Can they actually win? Because it doesn't look like Germany's really been building soldiers. So it looks like the UK has managed another naval invasion. How I'm not exactly sure. Possibly in La Rochelle and they have taken Paris. Looks like France is about to fall. Will that mean Italy will survive? Probably not. Yeah, no, probably not. Jean Reich has uh, completely taken over Austria now, but it means they're not going to get the cause, so that's something. Yep, the UK has taken over France. There they go. Wait, why is England fighting Italy? Is Italy fighting everybody? What are you doing, man? Looks like Italy's just been destroyed as well. Ooh. Not a good time to be a non-British or non-German power. I think Italy will survive a bit longer unless they lose Palermo. This is so annoying. They can push to Sicily and still survive. Okay, Danziger War has indeed fired, as, as is expected. So they are now at war. As well as Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia against the German Reich. Wait, German-British War? UK has joined the Kingdom of Romania. Oh, 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 hang on now. Germany is now fighting against the UK. Oh God. Yep, that's World War II already. Okay. Is the UK gonna have enough forces to take Britain? Nope, they have garrison armies only. 
They have garrison armies only. Where is their military? They have 67 divisions. Where are they? They've got some fighting in Romania for some god awful reason. Are they all in Africa? Did the AI move their entire army to Africa? Yep, yeah, and there's even more. Oh my god, they've moved half their army to Africa. Oh no, <laughs> you idiot. You're gonna be at war with Germany and you're gonna die, man. Now they're gonna take France for. What? You've got troops? What are you doing? Oh, I really wanna take. I really want to take control, but I can't because I'm playing an observation game. I'm a good boy. Oh, that is so frustrating. What are you doing? Oh, it kills me, guys. It kills me. Please. And there goes the French line. You've ruined everything. So I fully expected this to be a war of, you know, absolute destruction for all those who oppose Germany. But something very interesting is happening. It looks like the AI is pure garbage. So this completely wiped out the British forces in uh, France, though they have now reinforced. But Poland is doing really well. They're actually just about to push this out. And there's no troops in the border. So they're going to keep taking this. And they're actually almost in Berlin. <laughs> So, if Poland managed to capitulate Germany, I think that would probably be the strangest thing that could have possibly happened. And true to form, the uh, the Nazis are currently fighting everyone, every which way, on every damn border, including almost being invaded by the Poles in their capital. And what do they do? They have something like a eighth of their army on Switzerland for literally no reason. Why is the AI so bad? Okay, well, apparently I'm just wrong. Switzerland actually did join and immediately attacked. Thank goodness they had some soldiers and they actually didn't have enough. They've actually lost Mollhouse and they're going to lose more territory unless they can very quickly capitulate them. But yeah, turns out I should not be relied upon to defend territory. The Germans were right and I was wrong. That is not something you want to say on a YouTube video, is it? I was just clicking onto Poland to see how well they're doing in the war, and the Soviet Union has started justifying. Oh dear. They're actually doing really well. They've actually managed to encircle a gigantic chunk of the German army. Well, not gigantic, but like five divisions. Still, like, they're doing really well. They almost got to Berlin, but they got pushed back. I think there's a genuine chance they might have done this, but unfortunately the Soviet Union is here to ruin the day. And now we get to watch the quick- Oh my god, okay, I clicked onto it for like a second. Yep, there goes Poland. Oh, no, stop it. No. Oh, Jesus, because I was clicked onto them as they died. Well, there goes Poland. And that gigantic... Oh, these borders. Oh, it's not pretty. I, I don't understand anything anymore. This world is terrible. This is just the worst thing I've ever seen. And there's the glorious Soviet Union war against the American Germans. Well, at least we're in the normal war now. Like, World War II is kicking off pretty normally. Republican Spain appears to actually have some plans against... Oh wait, no, Republican Spain is fighting Germany, but no one's pushing. All right. But looks like Russia's doing okay, you know, relatively speaking. Well, for all my meddling and general bastardy, strangely enough, it's not that different. Germany is still fighting back against Russia and also the UK. It's conquered France. Italy is in the Axis. True, it's been annexed by Germany, but it's still technically in the Axis. There's a fascist Bulgaria. There's an oddly fascist Croatia, which I'll admit is a little weird, but it's not exceptionally weird. I've seen weirder things. Spain is Republican and is thus being destroyed by Germany. And yes, the US is, owns Canada and is in an alliance with Mexico. And yeah, it's a little weird. Okay, it's a little strange, but you know, it's not that weird. I really did expect this would ruin the game, but it's actually just made everyone very angry. I've done a couple other tests of this as well. And what happens is that the nations that get declared war on are seemingly random. The AI, the UK AI seemingly just picks a neutral power with a larger naval, navy just at random. Another game, it was Denmark. Another game, it was Bulgaria or, or Turkey. It's very strange, but yeah, have, do that and see what you think about how the game changes. Obviously, because there's no Navy, uh, naval invasions will not really occur at a very large rate. Or perhaps more will, because there's no Navy to defend. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Let me know if you like this video in the comments and also leave it a like as well. I really appreciate everyone's feedback. It really does help out the channel. I'm trying all these new things in the channel and this has been my first time lapse, I guess. It's been a bit of a weird one. But I do hope you guys have enjoyed it and uh, give this a go in your games and enjoy Man the Guns. I was Aldrin and I'll continue to be, and this has been some Hearts of Iron 4 Man the Guns. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.